Welcome back to American Agenda. The economy under President Biden is shrinking. Uh, gross domestic product declined 1.4% in the first quarter, way below analysts' expectations of a gain of 1%. And of course, the, the last quarter of last year was up 6.9%. So we have come way down. And now the Fed, is, because of inflation, is going to increase interest rates even more than it already has. So does the GDP report mean we're in a period of stagflation in which we have either slow growth or a declining economy and then rising inflation? Let's bring in the host of Wise Guys, John Tobacco. John, this is like uh, the bad old days back from the 70s. What's going on here? Yeah. Uh, Bob, you know, when I'm not playing a wise guy on TV, my the bulk of my 30-year career on Wall Street, I've been a short seller. Um, a lot of people don't like short sales because they think they celebrate. I love them, John. Demise. Just so you know, I love them. I, I, I've done a lot of shorting myself, so I get it. Well, listen, the shorts in many instances are the canary in the coal mine. They do the best research, if you ask me. you got to really understand the fundamentals and the technicals. And, uh, Bob, I'm looking at it. I'm talking to my friends that are in the community of finding overvalued assets. And many of the things you said plus the most recent inflation numbers. This is no longer even a surprise. Real wages are up 5.6%. So people's wages are supposedly rising, according to Jen Sockpop, but when really inflation is 8.5%. So wages are tanking because of inflation. And I just don't see anything good on the horizon. Yesterday, I was on with John Bachman doing a little bull bear segment. And the technicals tell me uh, 33 under 33,000 is the one year low. If it closes below there today, next week we could be looking at a bottom of around 30,000 on the Dow. Oh my, that would that would be another uh, 10 percent, I guess. Um, yeah, it's I, I could see that, Bob. And you know the yeah. the full black swan um, because there's nothing good on the horizon. We know Powell's going to raise rates next week. Inflation's right. really on a course for 10 percent. No one's saying it, but that's right. the truth. Um, the real black swan is 26,000 at a bare bones bottom. Um, and that would have wow. effectively given up all Donald Trump's gains in just a year and a half. That would be remarkable. I mean, we're at 33,200. That's where we are right now. Uh, you're saying we could go down to 26,000. That would be now just so people don't freak out. The market always comes back over time. It comes back. But if Long you go ahead. Most people should be investing in 10-year life intervals and not being paying attention to this stuff. Right. But just to give people a little fair warning out there, if you're looking for values, if you ask me, 33,000 is a very important technical number. And if it closes below that on a Friday, people are going to be looking to it, people are going to be looking to liquidate it on money at Monday. And many auto programs that kick in, these special numbers increased selling. And I think next week could be a lot worse. And there's nothing good to buoy it, Bob. Yeah. And, you know, I was just reading something that this is the worst month, April. This is the worst month since 2008, if things keep going the way they are today. And you and I know where they're, it's not going to turn around uh, and close up. No. Um, it, and that starts to get your attention because 2008, that was a tough time. <laughs> well, look, uh, the other thing uh, where people are saying, well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. That's a freight train coming at us because <laughs> rates are going up. Mortgage rates are going up, which means housing sales are going to come on down because rates have to go up now on the mortgage side. Right. And by the way, for the last year and a half, banks have not had to uh, for, they weren't allowed to foreclose on homes. That moratorium has gone. So all the banks and financials are going to have to start reporting all the non-performing mortgages they have. And that could look like 2008 again, Bob, but fiesta. All right. Oh, man, that's ugly. Uh, but, John, you're not. So be sure to check out John Tobacco and the Wise Guys here on Newsmax Saturdays at 10 p.m. Thanks, John. I could have gone on a long time with you, but obviously we can't. But thank you. Thank you, Bob.